G'day guys, Mr Oz Adventure here and uh, we've been experiencing a little bit of heavy rain today and it's expected to continue so uh, today's not a very good day for motorcycling but that's okay because I'm feeling a little bit exhausted anyway. I've owned this bike for eight and a half years now, but uh, I've been running the stock exhaust the whole time, and I've finally decided to upgrade to a Delcovic aftermarket exhaust. Let's start by ripping all this crap off the bike and just get access to the exhaust itself and change it all over, shall we? Before we start ripping everything off the bike though, let's just uh, take a little bit of a sound snippet of the stock exhaust and we can compare them later, see how it sounds. Alrighty, let's rip this thing to bits and see what we can do, eh? I'm going to start by taking off the top box and this rack, the pannier racks, whatever else needs taken off around the back there, take off the bash plate. Okay, well I've got most of the stuff off the bike at the moment except for the old pipe there. I've got access to the, the front clamp there, all the rear mounting points, the uh, O2 sensor, and uh, down in the dark depths there there's another clamp, so got access to all that now, nice and easy. Here's a new pipe, I just wanted to show that while it was still half packaged, it comes incredibly well packaged. All this was wrapped up in a cardboard box as well, there's no damage going to happen to that at all, no way. Well, uh, let's get it all out of the wrapping and we'll uh, have a look at the instructions and go from there. Yes, I'm going to read the instructions. So before you go about unbolting the old exhaust, first thing you want to do Let's take out this sensor but before you unscrew that sensor you want to get up under here and disconnect this plug so you can unscrew it without the wiring getting all tangled I've had to break out the big gun a little bit, a pinch bar, but it's, it's not working. Um, everything's jammed up in there basically because I've got a bracket for my bash plate and the centre stand. The exhaust can't get past it, can't get past the bracket there, it's just jamming up there, won't come out there. I can't get the centre pipe out, it is almost out. These have all dropped down. I've lowered the front a little bit, that's come out. About 10 mil it's dropped down, but again it's jammed up. And this whole bracket there, the oil cooler I've had to take off just to get a bit of movement, but still I can't get it all the way off. So I may have to take off the centre stand and the bash plate bracket but I really don't want to do that. Getting the new pipe on should be easy because it's all in separate pieces. It's just getting off this original pipe. Alrighty, finally I got the bastard off. I had to get my son to hold the bike for me so I didn't tip it over while I just shook the absolute crap out of it. Got my pinch bar in there and bent this bracket around. That's supposed to be more upright. So I bent it around just to give myself a little bit more wiggle room. Once I had some wiggle room, I was able to give it a good jiggle and out it came. Just trying to get the pipe out from between the bracket for my bash plate and the centre stand and uh, this mounting point here on the bike. 
for the exhaust was a bit of a challenge. So that bit gets discarded. I've got to reuse this pipe here. Alright, I've got the next little pipe in there now. The last piece of the puzzle is the silencer itself, the muffler. With the standard exhaust, it bolts on here with two mounting points. So the Delcovic comes with a bracket. So you just mount the bracket onto the standard mounting points and then you've got an extra hole here, an extra nut and a bolt. So you just have this strap here that goes around the exhaust and uh, just bolts onto that bracket there. Let's go, the last little bit. Okay, I've got everything just hanging on there loosely at the moment. So it's still wobbling around a little bit. I'll start at the front and then just work my way back. Um, start with the um, engine pipes. The two uh, pipes coming straight out of the exhaust manifolds. The only thing I stuffed up here was I put this bracket that goes around the pipe on the outside of this bracket first and the pipe was sitting out all twisted and wonky here. So putting it on the inside was the go. All right, let's get everything tight and then we'll give it a test. Here we go, that is the Delcovic with the baffle in. So that was with the baffle in. Let's take it out. Pretty easy to take in and out. Nice, easy access. Uh, is that hot? No, nah, it's all right. Ooh. Ooh. That looks like a bit of a dirty sex toy. Ooh, look at that gaping hole. So that is the baffle out sound. Oh my god. So now that's all done. The exhaust is on in its place as everything should be. Now it's time to bolt all the accessories back on. Okay guys, that is it. The only thing I've got to do now is get some longer bolts for the bash plate and put a spacer in there because when I try and bolt it up, it's just hitting on this bottom pipe here. That's nothing, that's easy. I can do that uh, tomorrow. That is pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know if it's going to add more power to the bike, but it's definitely reduced the weight a little bit. But the main thing is, it just sounds nice. That's the main reason for it, isn't it? You know, that's why we put aftermarket exhausts on because we like the sound of it. Yeah, baby. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you got something out of that. I will put a link in the description down below to where you can purchase this exhaust in Australia and to where you can buy it overseas as well. Still not riding today, it's still raining, but the bike is going in for a service tomorrow and then we're heading off to Tasmania. Thanks for watching guys, see ya.